newcomers, a couple of returnees. We'll run all that down. It is Dennis Evans set to jump it up right now against Ferris Remouche for Kentucky Wesley in the Division II school from Owensboro, Kentucky. Winners of eight Division II national championships, and Evans wins the tip. Gray Fernandez and Alexa Rockich in the game. Fernandez tries to take Trey White inside, and there we have a ball go through the basket for the first time at the 15-33 mark. Johnson and Sky Clark at the point being really, really aggressive. Two seconds in the long three banks in for KV on Mitchell. The backdoor cut and the slam by Logan Mack. Tire to go in the locker room with the lead here in the KFC Yum Center and a three from the corner goes off the side of the backboard, but he gets the offensive rebound back out to Fernandez to Miles. His three off the back of the rim. We'll see the cards can get a rebound. They cannot because Edward Jones Jr. with another rebound and Fernandez underneath for the basket. And the Panthers have tied this up with four seconds to go. White has got to get a shot off quick. He pulls up his jumper is. No good, and the cards will go to the locker room. Tie with Division II Kentucky Wesleyan. They aren't doing anything. Don't play them. Because they should be dominating this game, and they have not been doing that. A wide open three for KV on Mitchell. He drains it. Evans got it to Clark. Seven on the shot clock right now. Gets the screen from Fernandez. You got to figure he's going back to him. No, Evans all the way to the basket. And he gets the basket and the foul on Sky Clark and Kentucky Wesleyan. They have a two point lead. They try to get a stop here. Fernandez goes into Clark. No call. And then the offensive rebound, the tip in by Edward Jones Jr. Jones just had that tip in. Here's Miles. Goes by Clark all the way to the basket. Gets it up on the rim. Ended up at Wesleyan. Misses the second free throw, but Alex Gray gets the offensive rebound. Back to Miles for the three, and Kentucky Wesleyan has a four-point lead with under five minutes to play. Miles has been going to the basket late in the shot clock. Now he's got four seconds left there. Crip cards double-team him. Another three by Edward Jones Jr. at the shot clock buzzer, and he hits another triple. Some stops here. Dennis Evans is back in the game, the 7-1 freshman. McIntyre on the baseline looking for Fernandez, but McIntyre. Fernandez all by himself. They left him alone. J.J. Trainer, I think it was, just completely lost him. Number two with the ball right here. Guarded by Sky Clark. McIntyre on the baseline to Mitchell, and he Three for Kavion Mitchell, and the lead is back to five. Six seconds on the shot clock, 42 in the game. Kentucky Wesley in a three-point lead. The lob. And in the paint, Edward Jones Jr. with a nice catch, gathers himself and scores left to play. Kentucky Wesley does not have a timeout. So Mitchell to Fernandez to Miles. Over. Miles hits the first free throw. One timeout remaining and the possession arrow. Miles hits the second free throw. It's going to be a length of the court shot at yeah. that point and doesn't give him a chance to throw it in. He goes way up in the air and I think he tried to he miss tried it. He tried to miss it. But he made it and it's a three-point game. Sky Clark from three-quarter court and it's off the backboard and a miss. And Kentucky Wesleyan has come into the KFC Young Center and the Division II Panthers have knocked off Louisville 71 to 68 the final. Yeah, a lot of a lot of things to work on for Louisville. A huge congrats to uh, to uh, to coach and his team there for J coach Drew Cooper and his team from Kentucky Wesleyan as they just came in and they took it to Louisville in the second half. For the second straight season, Kenny Penny and the Cards drop an exhibition game to a Division II school. The final score, Kentucky Wesleyan over Louisville, 71 to 68.